Yes, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Good Enough Podcast. We're here every week at 4 p.m., every Wednesday at 4 p.m. That's right. Should I say? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, by the time this episode comes out, Beta Squad match will have been played. Yeah. I can say that I'm in the match. You're in the match. Unless by God, <laughs> doing chance, you ain't in like, it. I ain't in it, even though I've been told I'm in it. Um, but yeah, who do you reckon is going to win? I don't even know what team I'm on, you know? Okay, so they didn't they didn't say in it. They haven't said. No, but I'm assuming I'm on Beta Squad team because it would make Save, sense. It make more sense. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Although in in uh, Qatar, Philly was on the other team, but that was more just for marketing. That I was think. more just spreading it out. Yeah, you know no, I mean? mar- marketing says that chunks versus Philly. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. All right, so let's predict because right now we're in the past, but <clears throat> the match has already happened. Who's scoring? Nico scoring. I can't. I remember. reckon Nico scoring because he always manages to bag he a does. goal. He's a bagman. He's a bag. Look at his build. He don't look like he can kick ball. <laughs> You know what I mean? He's bare gangly. And he's like mad that. gangly. Bare gangly. This is the thing. Me and Nico are the same height, by the way. The same, I think Nico might even be. I mean, he's gangly. A little bit taller. He's a bit more like. Yeah. Yeah. He don't look like he can keep ball at all, but he can. <laughs> he looks like he stinks at football, but he really don't. He's a good five side man as well. Proper. Yeah, he actually is. Um, all right, Nico's bagging one. Um, I, listen, every chart match I've played in, well, I've only played in two. But I always say I'm going to score one. I don't even come close. I feel like in my head, I f- I'm still as good as I was when I was like 16. No, but I think, yeah. Like, I, I remember speaking to to Philly about this. And then you just got to remember that it's a charity game. No one's yeah, going to take it mad serious in the sense yeah, of... Yeah, well, <laughs> who did? Do. Everyone does. People do, bruv. I mean? just got, bro, take the ball and go for a goal, man. Do a little solo. Oh, actually, like, might if, you're, if, you're in ba- if you're in Beta's team, yeah, you know that you're playing... Some more likely shit. You're playing... The team that you're playing. But I don't get shit. much game time, which I do here because obviously I ain't as big as a couple of people that are playing. Yeah, you know but you'll mean? get game time. Mm. I reckon you should just try and get a moment. Yeah, I know, I should do. These times, if, you're, if you're on beta team, you're, what, you're, you're going up against... Your hocus pocus through someone's legs or something. Do you know what I'm saying? Just get your little special one in. The thing is, I'm a little tech man. I can do like skills and that, but I fucking... Do you know what I mean? I used to try to be a little five-star skiller, but like obviously that means shit in 11 aside. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but then... And like, I feel like I can take good shots when I'm taking free kicks or the balls at a standstill, I feel like I got a good shot then. But if I'm mm. sprinting with a ball, I'm actually ain't all that, bruv, when I'm trying to shoot. I say you get in there, man. Look, you got what? AMP you're going off against. Yeah, I know. You probably ain't kicked half of them. Soccer. Ain't kicked a ball in their whole lives. You don't, have, you don't have to do much to get a moment in, you know what I mean? Yeah, it'll be a good day, man. I can't believe they sold out fucking my whole stadium in two hours. Two hours. Sellers Park. 28K. They could have probably done Emirates or something. Hundred percent. I think base. I think they just underestimated. Yeah, they definitely how did. how how big the game 100%. was gonna be. But when you think about, it, look at the names that are coming. Yeah, I know. Do you know how mad that is? Yeah, but people didn't know that it was that them names were coming until yeah, it recently. Yeah, it, it, it was to be confirmed. Tickets still sold just on Beta Squad AMP alone. You know Which I'm is mad. It's mad, bruv. Twenty eight thousand people. Fuck the charity. Put it in your pocket, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. It's for That's a good g- cause. For a good cause. You know what I mean? That's gonna be a good 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 day, man. Good day. I'll be uh, doing the snaps for for Kenny. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I might vlog it. So I feel like in my head, I'm not going to get much chill out, relaxing time. Oh, yeah. What, are you recording it proper or, or just Snapchat? No, just snap for him. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, just snap. Sure. Snap, snap's a good way to vlog, though. I can't lie. Yeah. I, I do a lot on Snap. I feel like a 12-year-old. Do you know I don't get yeah when 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 people are like, or girls are like, oh, if you use Snapchat, you're better childish. Who still uses Snapchat? Different, before? different. Listen, I put up my second talk, most talk, talk, to my most talk, 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 talk to me about them, but listen, different for the man them. Because look, <clears throat> you're on Snapchat. You what? You are on Snapchat. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. I earn off Snapchat. So yeah. I'll put fucking 100 snaps on. Mind your business. Yeah. It's guy in my pocket. I remember when I first started earning off Snap. So basically, if you don't know, creators get to earn off Snapchat stories, innit? Because um, there's adverts on Snapchat now. It's similar to YouTube. But yeah, when I first started posting bear on Snap, yeah, I remember I made a private story. For people that probably know me, and I was like, by the way, I know I'm rinsing snap, Snapchat stories right now, but it's because of it's this reason. It's because of this reason, like, exactly. I posted stories anyway, don't get me wrong. Yeah, of course. Do you know what I mean? It's part of my life. But yeah. like, at the same time, when I first started doing it, until everyone else started doing it, and like, you see all these influencers and people posting their stories now, like, because it's content, um, it becomes a job now. Like, when I first started doing it, it cringed me out a little bit. Little bit. Yeah, yeah. Little bit. Because I always get this imposter syndrome of like, who the fuck cares about my life? That's like when I vlog sometimes. Like when I'm holding a vlog camera on myself, 
like it makes even though it's been my job for years and I've got a million subs like people that want to watch it obviously I still feel like weird holding a vlog camera in front of my face I feel like oh who's looking at me I'm He's better cringe around. even if I'm around YouTubers I still feel like uh, I'm cringing a little bit I don't know why but if someone's filming me like, if someone's filming me I don't feel weird mm. because like, it, it, like to the third person not that I care but I clearly do to the third person's point of view if someone's watching you getting filmed you look important if you're holding a camera on yourself you do, you look self-obsessed there's a difference you know what I'm saying that you're doing your own oh, no 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 I understand that I, when I first like started hanging around the man, them doing a little, even when the camera's on me, bro, I still feel, mm. I still feel like, who the fuck do I think I am? I yeah, it's a bad mindset to have, bro. Whatever not, but you know what? You just clock. No one gives a shit. No, no. And everyone, especially when you're around the, the rest of the boys, everyone in the room's getting filmed anyway. No, no. doing their thing. I know. So, you, but I get what you mean when, when you say you feel like that, because yeah, yeah it is a bit mad. I, I think I need to still come to the terms, like even vlogging in public, yeah, because I actually want to start, that's what content I want to start doing is like lifestyle vlogs. Like, do you watch LB's vlogs? Yeah. Fucking sick. Sick. Obviously, my man's got like 10 M's in the bank, innit? So yeah, so you can lit. just do whatever. But. Yeah. But like, I think my life's lit. Like, not, yeah, you do a lot like, of not stuff, Not renting though. out Ferraris and driving on my racetracks and that. But like, bruv, I got a decent amount, though. I, I go on holiday a lot. I want to start filming my life because it's lifestyle content. I think that's, that's all I really watch at the minute on YouTube is mm. lifestyle content. But I wouldn't want to be just... I well, want someone want filming man. me, yeah. You want a cameraman? So I need to figure that out. I mean, I'm going on holiday to Barca soon, off Sona. Is it? Yeah, it's for a festival. I might film the whole thing. Just run it up. Or not the whole thing, because we might get up to a bit of madness. You, you know, know what? I mean? Look at what Az does in that, like. Yeah. It's so calm. Exactly. Just so calm. He's that, got a cameraman. He just that's what I like. like. It's not like, yo, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's, that's just it's like live accelerated personality. Like, I feel like yeah. the, the man have grown out of that now as well. Yeah, especially because of this pod. This pod is nice because we're just we're just being yeah who we are. Camp. Is it exactly that? Exactly that. Yeah. So I just want someone following me at all times, like just a fat SD card, and then just get it chopped up in it. Yeah. You know what I mean, like I think that's they're the best videos. They're the best vlogs. Where like you just see that right now you're sitting there. You don't you're not even paying attention to me really. You are and you're not in it. Like in them videos, they don't really pay attention to the camera that much, but they do. I mean, they say what they're doing. Boom, boom, boom. Because sometimes vlogging gets a bit. Yo guys, so we're just here, we're just doing this, boom, boom, boom. Next clip. Yo guys, so we're here now. Da, da, da. Nah, just follow it. If you got a cameraman on you, it's just natural. It's more yeah, natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Conversations it? you're having, yeah, yeah, shit yeah. like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think they're the, they're the sickest vlogs. Cause like you said, like I said, it's like live streaming. Yeah. But I do think live streaming is a bit techy. That gives me anxiety. I would love that. to do IRL streams, bro. It's just Cause a I bit... stream at Yard and like, it's fun. Don't get me wrong. Cause yeah, yeah I'm going to like, you know, Get the G that you people doing GTA RP. I make music on stream as well. Mm. Whether or not I get people around, like pe they love when I get Max to my yard yeah. to stream and that. You've come, you've come on it before. You know what I mean? Even Joe's been on it. Yeah, he has. Joe's been on it. Yeah. Joe's no, streaming is sick, innit? It's sick, but I would love to do an IRL one. That's why. I, that's why HS kind of broke something in the market because obviously his content already is fucked. Like you don't really give a shit. Yeah, and then he I mean? went over there and done live streaming and done it. Done, went over to America. And that whole it. fight thing, the Zerka yeah, thing. That was big. For that, him. Bl that fucking that was big was massive. For him. I mean, where'd you see a scrap on, like, because you couldn't put it in a video. It no, would, it's it more recce. When you're, when you're live streaming, you can do more recce shit. Like. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Because it's happening there and then. Yeah. Bom, 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 do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it, it, if it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? In a video, you have to think, mm, should I put this out? So I cut this out of the edit. Is it going to get demonetized? Yeah, it's, it's, more, it's more refined. Whereas, like, with the stream, life. it's just going like that. And people, if people clip it, they clip it, whatever, not, but. Yeah. It's happening right there and then. That's what I want to do my videos. Like, I feel like you'd, you'd be good on IRL streams, you know? I don't know. I really want to do the IRL vlogs, lifestyle vlogs on holiday and shit like that a bit first. Let me know if you want to see that, innit? I know some of you only come here because um, the pod and you're actually a fan of the pod and that's sick, innit? But if you do watch my own videos as well, let me know if you want to see that. Like uh, just lifestyle vlogs where I'm literally being 100% myself, like to the point of where... I'm not really YouTube-y, but then I get scared that if I'm to myself, I mean, this podcast made me feel a bit better about it, but if I'm to myself, I might get a bit of hate. Because my humor is very dark. It's dark. You know what I mean? I know I get up to a madness. You know what I mean? Obviously, I wouldn't be involving, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't be fucking, some things have to be private, innit? Yeah, yeah nah, some of course. Things have to be private. Of course. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? But you know how to keep it PG. You get me when you're when the camera's on, regardless. But then in, in that sense, you do, you keep it PG anyways. But what I'm saying is you don't go mad, whatever, yeah, not on camp. But the mad vlogs are sick. I might keep it PH, just one after G in it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, just, you know a, little bit, just a little bit. You yeah, get me? Yeah. You know I mean? But no, nah, no, just, I can't lie. Content's changing, man. So you might as well just change with it. But people just love you for the skits as well. That's the thing. That's yeah, the thing I you know. can't get away from. Yeah, I know, but I do think there has been kind of like a, a path paved in a way for content that doesn't have to be so PG nowadays. Hi. <laughs> I feel like content doesn't have to be as PG nowadays. Like you can make adult content. Like, I am 25 now, bruv. I mean, don't get me wrong. I When I make a skit, yeah, obviously the views on my skits don't do as well that it used to do. That's just part and parcel of life. Like nothing's gonna last forever. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but like when I do put a skit, skit together and like I post it, I think, do you know what? That's the bollocks. I do like creating something. I've still got that driving me to create something. Mm. Cause I know I could, if I had the passion fully to put my effort into it, I just don't, I could make a short film easily. I can make a film. Yeah. Like I know I have the skill for that to make yeah. an actual proper film. Yeah. But I just feel like I ain't got the time or the, I don't know. It must be just be the passion with that. Just cause I've been doing it so much and it's just hard to think of ideas all the time. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. But the real life stuff is just, you could be your own self. Like you could fucking, like usually I'd think, oh, I'm not gonna show myself drunk on camera. Like usually on a vlog, but I'm not gonna show myself around with tings. But not, you just do it now. Maybe blur the faces. And that's it. Just wanna like... show everything, like as real as possible. Yeah. If, you're, if we're going on holiday, we're with tings. We're getting licked. We're doing some madness. Do you know what I mean? Something's going on that, like you think, oh, but this would make sick content. But I can't put that out. Yeah. I start getting judged. I start this, that, the other. Do you know what I mean? But like that content nowadays. I'm not saying because I hate chess, but like because of- He does it though. Yeah, he, do, he and does and, and, he, and I wouldn't do that as a bit far, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But like, it's because of streamers, IRL streamers now, it's like that recce content is it, more- It's got no filter now, it's It there, is it's more there. real though. It's more real. It actually is more real because YouTube become a bit like TV. You have to be bare PG and yeah. like, you have to do all this stuff. I and mean, that's not what people are like in real life. Yeah. They're actually not. Yeah. Like I know I maybe not on here as much, but still even on here, I know I'm not fully, 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 fully 100 percent giving you like everything. Yeah, you're not. You know what I'm saying? You're not. See, there's even to, to even say it, there's even bits where when these podcasts come out, we're like, nah, do you know what? No, cut that out. Cut yeah, that bit cut out. Cut out, yeah. Cause you know how people are gonna react online because there's other people that just are PG and just want you to think it's TV, but I don't know, I think this new pathway could be could be a good thing. It's more good for your lane though, because the way you do things, like the way you are in real life, I, think I feel like be. I feel like you could do it. I think it'd be. Might consider it, bro. I, I might do it. I can't lie, just keep the camera rolling at all times. Consider it. Any madness that happens, happens. Like, And then I feel like people actually know the real you. And once you're being the real you and don't give a shit, like brand deals might not be as heavy emailing you up. But your, your base will be bigger. But because if your fan base is yeah, bigger, I think it's worth it. Your base will be bigger, hundred percent. Because people are relating to the real you, not mm. yes, guys. So what we're doing? Like the video. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's the worst. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Like I, I've always liked DBE. Yeah, I think they're my young ads, are my favorite artist. But I, I don't even think ads of vlogs are too good. But LB's vlogs, good. I think they're fucking sick. Yeah, and it's made me in a way rate him more as an artist. Cause you just fuck with him more. Because I now know his personality. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And more. he's just being himself. Yeah. So I think it could be good, good for the business. Do you know what I mean? Like, give it a try, give it a try. You know what I mean? Though, like, oh my god, like, what's happening, girl? Yeah, right. That's how he. That's not how he talks in real life, by the way. Yeah, no, I talk like <laughs> this in real life, and the camera's off. Oh my god, darling. I bye 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 bye. I sweet bye. Anyone from Kent? Anyone from Maidstone? <laughs> Chat it, bye bye. I sweet cars. Yeah, sweet bye. I can't do that accent. <laughs> well, we rambled. What were we here to talk about today? <laughs> Um, conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories, yeah. So Johnny got like, what, how many? I've got a couple of conspiracy theories in my home, Louis. So the first conspiracy theory we're gonna talk about is fucking, I'm very tired by the way, so if I just fucking go off into random accents, you know why, it's cause <laughs> I just, I don't know, feeling like a jolly up. Um, is the flat earth theory. Oh, I this don't know too is much cap, about it. But we're gonna play devil's advocate and talk about why it couldn't be cap. So the little brief description, if you didn't know, this theory argues that the earth is flat instead of being an oblate 
spheroid. Sounds like an STD. <laughs> Although specific evidence overwhelmingly supports the round shape of our planet, some proponents of this theory argue that there's a global conspiracy to hide the truth. So, what's your first? Let's just get your verdict. I've heard so much about this. There was, a, there was. I watched the video. I think what was it? Like a couple of weeks ago, and it was, uh, it was of a flat earther, support of a flat earther, trying to prove his theory, and he ended up disproving it live on camera. And he just got mad, embarrassed. But How? I forgot. It was something to do with light reflection. He was using light reflection, the reflection of light, to prove that the Earth was flat, and he was supposed How? to. There was the science behind it is mad. We're both not. Yeah. We're not calculated enough to figure it out. But basically, it was something to do with him shining a light through this filter, it bouncing off something else, and they were supposed to see it on this bit of card. Okay. And if it showed on that bit of card or something like that, something like that anyway, someone might have seen it. If it showed on this thing that he's holding up, it means the earth is flat because of the way the angles mm. bounce off the light. The light didn't come through. So he didn't seem to test so it before he, he, yeah. before he went and <laughs> he done it in front of everyone. Like, camera's rolling. That's bad then. And he it? did it. And the light's not showing up, so then he's like, so then they're like, oh, no, oh. no. They're like, hold on, hold on, something's, something's gone wrong there, whatever not. So he's like, are you sure? He's shining that light. It's, oh, what angle are you holding it at? And he's shouting to his other partner. His other partner's telling him, yeah, no, it's incorrect, whatever not. And he's standing there, he's like, oh, it, oh very interesting. That's, that's, that's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> he's just live out, just got it wrong. Um, when obviously, I'm, I'm not going to, I ain't going to sit here and pretend that I know the science behind this, innit? However, I genuinely feel like we've been here long enough to know. Word. No one's dropped off the edge of the earth yet. <laughs> exactly. They say it's because there's an ice layer around the earth and you wouldn't be able to get there otherwise you die. But surely if a helicopter or something would go there, innit? Someone would have someone, someone would have gone there. Like, and I can't lie, they say, oh, when you look into the horizon, it's flat. No, it ain't. It generally does have a little, have a little if you're on a that. plane, yeah, you see you're on a plane, you see the planes nowadays when they have a camera at the back and you can see you the can flight see the thing, yeah. on the screen. Yeah. It, it has got a slight, slight, slight curve. I don't know if that even, I don't know. I, do, I genuinely don't know. But I do think the only, look, I'm not a scientist. I'm not going to even go into it. But I feel like we've been here for a while now. Yeah. Someone would have found out if it's flat. I do hear the fact of like the higher powers do control everything. So if they wanted to make us believe it was round, they could. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. Like leading on to the fucking, the, I don't even know if it's one on the list, but the uh, man on the moon theory. Why that one bugs me out? Fire Surely alarm! We're getting that now. Fire alarm! That's not for us, Charlie. Louis. It's not for us. Not for us, Louis. The 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 uh the moon. Ah oh, yeah! Hey, right, next freestyle. <laughs> Ra! That's it. That's it. <laughs> Yo, look. Yo, lean. Back up, spin it, reverse it. No corn for the nine, but my pen might rise. I might lick two shots like Sterling. No M16 on the side, but my ting might. Yeah, see? Aye, Didn't get the whole aye. freestyle, man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that, yeah. that blew up. You know, I was watching that the other day. That blew up. Yeah, I know. Man's banging gym like Jolo, Combolo, JC, that's Provo. <laughs> right, even that people got to be an ask for a picture. And they'd be like, aye, man, like. Um, Keza. No, it? they start saying to me. Um, Oh, why am I so tired? What's the what's the bar? Um, when I done it in the in the come down with me video, and it was the the roadman freestyle. Um, oh, no, that was good, but I remember I remember playing that Russian thing. roulette when I spin yeah, this yeah. gun. You know that we do it for fun. <laughs> yeah, we do ride outs and glide outs, and we ching man's chest and lung. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know that you might get spun. Six man hootie might get spun. <laughs> yeah, people like that one still. Yeah. If you, if you don't I know might just stop stabbing people up. So I'm <laughs> about this stuff. If you, you don't know what I'm talking about, me and Johnny done two episodes, I think. Yeah, two episodes. Two episodes where we've done making well, a drill song and an hour how easy it is if you want to cap. So he, I wish I was a drill artist. That is why Jaws died, though. Wish I was a drill artist. Yeah, word. Because I, I, I could more. lie through my teeth. It's so easy to rap. The drill artists that are still around are the ones that are actually talented and they actually can do versatile yeah, stuff. Yeah, they can switch it up. Versatility, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, drill is just the same shit. How many times did I... I don't know, mate. A lot of You're times. You're telling me. A lot of times, clearly. A lot. How many times that? It's, it's, how I'm many? Gonna, I wonder how many men got chinged because genuinely, you know, everyone's chinged. You've never been to the opera. No, I haven't, mate. <laughs> I haven't. No, I ain't. I'm a civilian, mate. <laughs> you never done this, the, the, but no, what? You never stepped up with a trench gun and shot man's foot. No, I ain't, mate. More time, neither of you. <laughs> you know what I mean, I mean, a lot of them are on smoke, but brother, can't. Not every little hood rat is on some madness. 
of fucking firing bells at people's nut and shit like that. It just. No. Just wonder how many men they got down. Jake, there, there must have been a lot of. Well, a lot of. <laughs> a lot of men down. A lot of death. <laughs> a lot of death. Yeah. I ain't seen that much. Yeah. Speaking of fucking near death, someone got fucking stabbed in his apartment block. Yeah. Literally, as we, last night. Last night. Yeah. Last you know, night. You know, his reaction was, it wasn't, oh, it's bad traumatic. His reaction was, I'm trying to get the rent down. <laughs> no, you know, no, 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 listen, listen, listen. No, I hear it. No, but you I can't. Fucking you know, stay Let me tell you about my He's even put yeah. a review on TripAdvisor <laughs> or Google or saying, he's took a picture of a blood splatter and he's like, do not stay here. <laughs> no, do you know what? It's not like, listen. <laughs> That's, it sounds but Because so I hear it, because the geezer didn't die and it's London. It's not that shocking to see it's, a stabbing. It's, as bad as it is, it's I feel, not. It's I'm, actually I'm not. conditioned to where I live, innit? No, yeah. Not word. to say, bear in mind, I do not live in a bad place, innit? You know where I live. It ain't yeah, like. Yeah, no, no, but it's still, it's still Northwest. It's you know ends, what I mean? Still, you know what I mean? But it's not air. Like, trust me. I live on like a boulevard. Like, it's, it's, it's different. It ain't like, I'm not living in like a, a block. But place, like, so my place is supposed to have security. <laughs> 24-7, by the way. Mm. Yeah. It's it's double doors at the front. You got to get through the lobby to get through the other bit, whatever not. The doors broke. The doors have been broken yeah, for they months. Have been for time. They keep, like, do you know what I mean? When you come, mm. you can just get through, just whatever get through, not. Yeah. And then on top of that, because the security is never there, people tailgate anyway and can get yeah. it even if the doors aren't broken. Mm. So for a building like mine, I can't lie, the doors need to be, everything needs to be sorted. Yeah. Right. It ain't been. So anyway, I was sitting on my balcony the other, yeah, let's say the other day, yesterday, yeah? And I've seen a group, I'm saying 12 to 15 boys, <coughs> all in black, masked up. Some people had shiesties on, you know what I mean? Just so you can just see the eyes, whatever not, yeah? And it's all going down outside. Mm. And where I think like, there's people like from our, from my block looking out the balcony like, you know, <clears throat> looking down. You know, yeah, as we do, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? thinking, oh, I just hope nothing, no, I hope nothing, I, I hope nothing was going to happen. Anyway, this thing started spilling over towards my front door. So I'm thinking, what the hell's going on? Long story short, they got inside and I've got like a group chat on my, on my phone with all the, all the people that live in my building on it. Everyone's going nuts. Boys running up and down the stairs, this, that, and the third, talking like, it's going mad. 10 minutes later, there's about, there's police and security. Them boys have gone. They've all run out and someone's been stabbed on yeah, the stairs. Fucked, fucked. So there's a picture they, that someone took a picture and put it in our group chat. The geese is calm though, isn't it? It was no like- No, yeah, nothing happened to him. Like, well, obviously he, he did get stabbed. stabbed. Something happened to him, but he ain't, he ain't, he ain't, he weren't lying there in a pool of blood going yeah, to hospital. Yeah. Like he got a little, yeah. and then, and yeah, he bled. He bled. Yeah, he took a picture of the blood. <laughs> Posted it to your fucking. Uh... I posted it on Google because I thought to myself. Yeah, no, I hear it, bro. But at the same time, even though you're not fripped by it or shook up, because it is 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 a very normal thing in London. Yeah. For that, I know people that have been stabbed as by the stabbings, not in my exact area, but in the area next door to mine mm. all the time. Like it's just, it, it happens. But like it's more, yeah, you should be fucking getting your rent lowered because that shouldn't be happening. That is actually very a life threatening thing. Yeah, they breach the. Th think, think about it like this. In our contract, it states we're supposed to have security. In our contract, it states we're supposed to have those doors done, blah, 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 this and that. They're breaching my contract by, mm. like, by doing that. You're, you're breaching my tenancy. Mm. So why am I paying rent? Mm. You're breaching my tenancy. And if you, <laughs> I sound so cheap by saying that, but I'm thinking to myself, like, it's not, it's not okay for someone no, to just okay. get stabbed it, in my apartment. Just because you're okay with it doesn't mean it's okay. Yeah. In the grand scheme of things. Yeah. So take, you know get, take my rent down. Yeah, it would. Take or his rent down. Take my, Tim I want to blast these lot on, on it. If I blast them on the internet, I think they do it. Do you reckon they kick me out? Yeah, probably kick you out. Nah. Yeah, but then you're gonna, everyone's going to know where you live. Oh yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, if you're like a little younger, yeah, go to his address, start stabbing people in his building. Do you know what I'm telling you that? It's <laughs> already happened. Do you know people know, people know already? Someone said it Today. to me on my stream one time and then another oh, time. Long, long, man. Another time when- That pissed me off bad. I see something on TikTok, sorry, go on. Another time. Kenny come to my yard and got swarmed by a bunch of kids all in the lobby and that, oh mate. Another time we're sitting on, I'm sitting on my sofa, my sofa eating food <laughs> with Kenny. Someone from a, the build, another building, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took a picture through, That's through fucked, my bro. balcony and sent it to me. I, d I, don't, I, I don't think I get that breach sometimes. Like I see something on TikTok, like I've had someone, thankfully only 
twice in my whole career I've had people come to my house and is I it? was not nice. Like, is it? No, because you're coming to my you're fucking to my house. Gal. What are you yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see something on TikTok and it was um, Danny Aaron's was driving out of yeah, his yeah, road or something. Yeah, I saw that, saw that. And he said, he, he was knocking on my door, don't come to my house, blah, blah, blah. He yeah. was being very stern, do you know what I mean? But telling them how it is. All the comments are hating on him. Why? Saying, how rude was house. he? How rude was he? He can't speak to them like that. Oh, this is what he's actually like. Bro, you're coming to his fucking yeah, yard. Yeah. Like, just because he makes content and just we're like content creators does not give you the right to just breach that privacy first, and yeah. come to my yard. Yeah. No, it's not that. I will not be, I will not be friend. The, the, per, the kids that come to my yard, there's about 13. They asked me for a picture. I told them no. So yeah. Don't come to my house. Yeah. What are you talking about? Don't come, don't tell your friends where this it's is. Your what your girlfriend's like, your yard. Doing, my mom and dad live there. Like, no, nah, ain't that, bruv. Ain't that like? I remember when this. I'm a very nice, nice person. I've never turned down a picture in my life. Yeah. Like even if I'm having a shit day, I'll always take a picture no, no, and, you do and, still. and chat to a fan. You know what I'm saying? But but I ain't that, bro. Fuck that. That's, I remember, that's I remember that, one that's time. Breach of privacy. I remember one time that there was a one one guy as well that kept on posting your your address. Yeah, yeah little. You had to keep deleting it, deleting yeah, it. You stopped now, anyway. Yeah, that was years ago, but yeah. Fuck away, Fuck bro. We keep getting sidetracked, by the way, about this. No, but it's mine is a podcast, isn't it? Yeah, it's true. We're going, you know I mean, we're going in different tangents today. That's isn't it? how we do. We just waffle. We're just waffling. Someone's sitting there. Come back to get raspberries. I was pretty interested. Ah. <laughs> Lock them out. Really turns them on. <laughs> what? Anyway, I don't think the earth is flat. Basically, no, is what I'm trying I don't to say. Think the earth's flat. Fucking hell. <laughs> I don't think you're I'm trying to do research on it because I don't want to sound like I'm uneducated. No, yet. there's nothing to be uneducated about. But, but, it's but, obviously not flat. But like I said, the only thing that can back it up is the moon landing, yeah? Because obviously people say, oh, well, we've got pictures of the earth from satellites, but the moon landing, I think is actually fake. I can't lie. So do I. There's actually and, fake. And, and, the biggest question is why, why have we not we gone back? back? That's exactly what I think in my head. They say that we- I've got a theory. Go on. I think America went there first. Obviously done the flag or whatever. They've put some sort of nuclear powerful weapon on the moon. And now the Americans have marked that territory. So you can't go near the moon. What do you think if you go there, they're letting it off? What? I don't know. Like, I just, like, it, we're a power hungry world. Yeah. Like, I reckon fucking America has something on the moon. Like that, if they need to, they can... Do yeah. sang, do a madness to, to to one country. See, like the California fires, remember that, yeah? Yeah. And the trees were burning from inside out. People said it was lasers, innit? Obviously that not, made it happen? Yeah. <laughs> what? Man. People said, because there was only certain places that was burning. Like, it was only certain neighborhoods and certain places that was burning. And the trees were burning from inside out. What yeah, tree does that? Well, no, no tree does that. Do you know what I mean? So that, I'm obviously not going to see a laser. It's just a... Just a flash of light, and then it boom. Obviously, we're so powerful, which is fucking. You know what I'm saying, Ross. So you think like they fully just said, yeah, anyone come near there, or, I don't do, know. or it's a thing where if it get if if it gets left, World War Three, they got something there that just yeah. they can just bark it off. Yeah, I reckon. And yeah, because why haven't they been back? If we had the technology they said, they, in 19 fucking 50 or whatever, they said it was. they said they haven't been back because there was nothing to discover there, and it's cost. Of, it's like the cost. Don't make sense. Uh, I, don't think, I don't believe that. Bollocks. That's what they said. They said Why haven't Russia been there then? They said they, they, said us, they went there. China. They went there, saw the moon, collected what they need to collect, come back, came back, and thought there's no need to go again. That's bollocks. That's what I think. I mean, really and truly in this day and age, you'd, like, make, let's it, go there. Let, you'd yeah. make it like a fucking attraction. Yeah, legit. There's money in it. There's money in it. There's you know bread I mean? in it. <laughs> you could charge like fucking 15. People are trying to dive underwater to go to that fucking silly little submarine. That, yeah, <laughs> word. <laughs> Titanic, sorry. Going that little shipwreck and that. I'm telling you now, you'll find a couple people now that will fly yeah. to the moon. I'd put, and they'd pay, for, they'd pay for the whole thing. How much would you pay to go to the moon and actually stand on the moon? Zero, I wouldn't go. Would you not? No. I'd pay up to 15 racks. Yeah, but that's going to cost a lot more than that. No, I know, but like 20K maybe. That's a, a once that. in a There's... lifetime experience. Like, Yeah, but it might be more than that now. Give it 10 years. They start fucking oversaturating it. There's Domesticated like fucking, it so more people can go there's a, there's a theme park on the moon now. There's like fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's fucking, go there, there's bare vendors in it. It's looky, looky, men. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> well, yo, that way, Charlie, weird, Charlie. No, I'm Christy, mate. You know what I mean? Well, you bounce off now, Christy, but I'll see. Yeah, yeah, sweet, mate, sweet, mate. Yeah, it works. <laughs> Trying to sell you sunglasses and that. Hats, mate, I'm on the fucking moon, mate. The sun's there. <laughs> Come back, there's a top. I've been to the moon. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Makes them throw out of it. Use your fucking head. <laughs> yes, you know what I'm saying? No, but genuinely. Soon there'll be a fucking TFL line that <laughs> goes there, <laughs> doesn't it? Next stop, the moon. <laughs> Where? For this okay. elephant and car. Imagine you missed your stop as well. Pissed. You didn't even want to go. To... <laughs> it's just top. They just built a train right. track. They got it? used to it and then they got the moon. Word. <laughs> oh, oh, stop. Mate. Ticket, ticket uh, inspector comes up, innit? Uh, yeah, your bill for the thing. <laughs> but it's £2.50 and an oyster. <laughs> nah, mate. Nah, mate. Sorry. You got the moon. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. When's the next train back? It's a fucking ages, man. Yeah, when the sun's rotating. <laughs> I mean, nah, gen genuinely speaking, do you want an oxygen mask? Well, obviously, yeah, that'd be an extra six right. grand. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't buy them before. I ain't COVID mask, an oxygen mask, innit? <laughs> nah, seriously. Should <laughs> <laughs> I bump the barriers in the moon? I'd definitely do that. God, innit? Definitely bump the barriers in the moon, bro. 100%. How? Yeah, there's a way. There's a way, innit? Bro, I was bumping train for years. Same. I remember I got caught bumpy train once, yeah. And someone filmed me and put it on their Instagram story, just some person I didn't know and tagged me. I thought, how oh, embarrassing. Is it? I just I didn't get caught. I got shouted, yo, hey. And I just walked off. I was like, 18. And someone filmed you, I think. Yeah, funny. <laughs> fuck it though, innit? Yeah, fuck out your shit. I used to bump train. People are bumping train now. I've seen grown men just bumping train. I'll be like, sorry, bro. The only reason I don't bump train now is because I'm known now. And if I come out of the other gates and I get caught, that's so embarrassing. Yeah, you don't want to risk it. If I wasn't, wasn't, I'd definitely Johnny bump, Gary, bump still, train. But I still bump train. I can't. I'd be so real. I de de definitely would. They make too much money, bro. Sometimes you, yeah, play, but so, it's not even that. Play. Sometimes you just got to fucking do it for the buzz. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Oh, it's two pounds. And Bit of thrill. Stop, but like, bruv, what's two pounds to, to anyone? Nothing really. But like more is for the, why am I going to pay that? Yeah, I mean, just fuck them. Just walk through the barriers. You know what I mean? It's like you see them little ginger shots in fucking co-op. Like that, two quid, bro. I ain't paying that, bro. <laughs> I mean, slip it in the pocket. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. People need that money, John. I yeah, know. Yeah, well, cop don't. <laughs> yeah, no, cop definitely don't. You know what I mean? They got bread. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think the moon landing was probably fake. There's too much evidence against it that it was fake. I think we have been to the moon. I think we've definitely been to the moon. I think we're continuously going to the moon. So it's up there. Do you think something's going on up there that they just... Just made a cheese. <laughs> that's what that's the old spirit of booking it. Right. Moves made, made of cheese. I want to. I'm, I'm. I'm interested in that. And I want to figure that out. And see what's up there. They've probably decided up there though. Yeah. There wasn't Elon Musk doing something like where what? you or, or was it fucking who's my man that does Virgin? Oh, what's his name? Richard Branson. Wasn't they doing like a, a shuttle to the moon? Like for they like was doing. No, it was. It was a. Wasn't it a? I might be wrong. Actually, it might be. It might exist now. Wasn't I thought it was a. Zip, a zero gravity shuttle. So like you go as a far zip as- line. You go, <laughs> you go, Why don't you go you to the moon and zip line him back? <laughs> it's like fucking sick. ages, man. Right, <laughs> you probably burn up on well, that. Your, your hands yeah, under yeah, ice, isn't it? But um, you basically go to, to top of the atmosphere, just on a, just on a, on a crust, like just, just yeah. before you're about to enter space kind yeah. of thing. And you, you can jump around a plane and that and feel zero gravity. Oh, is it? Yeah. Sick. I think they've done it. I think they- they're doing it. Sick. Well, it's already done, I think. Anyway, I'll try to figure it out. Mad. But And it was so sad. I know I'd be guilty for it as well. So would you. This generation, if we went to the moon, first thing we can do is back out of snap. <laughs> yeah. So true. Straight away I'll get my phone. It's up. actually toxic. As soon as I see the moon, the first thing we can do is I've got to save this to my memories. Yeah. Rather Yo. And it Man's on the they moon are. cars. They are. Uh, <laughs> you get me? Who's got whips? <laughs> <laughs> in it. <laughs> you can drop me a crate quick time. Man's on the moon, cuz I'm trying to get iron. Uh, got a bottle of done. Table on the moon. There'd be a beach club on there, bruv. Moon beach club. That'd be That's sick. A moon beach. That'd be sick, bruv. That'd actually be wicked. My man who owns O Beach is gonna have shares in it. What's his name? Yeah, Wayne. Oh, Wayne. Wayne, Wayne Linnaker. He's... Wayne, mate. That's a fucking idea. <laughs> That's an there. idea for you. That's an idea for you there. Yeah, look. Ocean Moon. The next one is on the 28th of August. What an ex-Moon Beach Club. 2024. Zero gravity. Oh, oh shit. You can you get on it. That's got to be an off deer though, innit? Must be in it. Should we see how much it costs? Very good. That's the closest we're getting to the moon at the moment. 7.5k for one plane journey. That is just to jump around on a plane with zero gravity. But you could just do that in one of them air vent things in fucking Hemel Hempstead, can't you? Literally. I mean, fuck that. Yeah, 7.9. Do you know how horrible that is? And it only lasts like a couple of hours. And then that's if it, it went to the actual moon. Yeah, that's different. 
I'll let right. you do that. What do you think about them? Do you know there's another? So okay, nowhere we're going everywhere, but there's a um. You saw that thing of the submersive that went underneath and did they? I'm waffling, but did they go in the Mariana Trench or whatever it's fucking called? No, that's the deepest part. Isn't that the deepest part of the? Yeah. Okay, now surely you just your head would pop. Nah, that people. Do you know the? Do you know the director the of the Titanic? Mm. He's not the direct the the person that directed the Titanic. Yeah, is a diver. He's a deep sea diver. He's a mm. he's a diver. Like before him being a director or whatever not, he directed the Titanic because he'd been to the Titanic, the Titanic so yeah. many times in it. I think it was like, I can't remember how many successful dives he done, but he went to the, I believe it's called the Mariana Trench. Ain't that the- ain't that the... There's definitely shit in there that we've seen that we've heard about Point Nemo. No. There's basically a point in the ocean, yeah? It's like a, there's like a buoy there, like a metal crater yeah. thing, fucking whatever. And that point um, basically means that if you're there, you are, there's more ocean around you there is land you're, you're the furthest point away from land okay ain't that that though no because that's that's where no. the, I think that, they said that's the deepest place on earth can't wait to get put on tiktok and just say oh this div don't know what he's talking about look mariana trench <laughs> is at uh, i think trench located in the western pacific ocean about 200 kilometers no that's why that's why islands. that's why the film's called finding nemo is it i'm guessing point nemo look look at point nemo it's the deepest it's located ocean, look, trench on earth look the farthest from land is there. Oh, as in you're the furthest from the land? The furthest from land, yeah. I thought you meant the, the, no, the deepest. I thought you meant the deepest. It's 2,700 kilometers to the nearest bit of land. Okay, so that is... I'll swim that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, no, I thought you meant the deepest place on, in, in the ocean. No, the deepest place is the Mariana Trench, yeah. Yeah. So that, that so there, yeah. The Titanic, the, <clears throat> the director of the Titanic, he went down there. Not that long, not even that long ago, but he went down there properly. He spent like nine years or something or whatever it was. I can't remember exactly how long it was. Don't don't quote me. He spent a long time building this sub, it's like oblong sub with a with the Australians. Mm. Went down there, calm, no problems. Is it deepest place on earth, bro? He's just gone down there like it's nothing because of the actual. No, thing. no, no, no. But the fucking the the, the 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 Titanic ain't in the Mariana Trench. No, I know, but I'm saying like, oh, he's been to he's been to the Titanic. He can't have gone to the times. bottom, though. He can't have gone to the bottom of the trench. No way. He he went to the bottom of the trench. It? It'd be fucking red hot. No, no, no. Because you got the crust. We're break. We're on the crust, you know. Then you've got that like you've got the core. You've got the like inner bit, and you got there's like little there's there's there's, there's layers to the earth. It's no, not I like know. the core and then us. We boil up. See, Google that. Oh my days. The depth, I don't even know what that math is. Go There's on. some little plus minus symbols. The depth of the trench is 10,984 plus minus 25 meters, whatever the fuck that we means. We ain't good at that. Let's not pretend to be. And in width, it's 43 miles. The width of it is 43 miles? Yeah. Fucking so hell. it's not like a little crack in <laughs> Nah. It's not exactly a trench, is nah, it? Nah, nah, it's a fucking... <laughs> what do you reckon that's from? It's a small city. You know what that could be from? What? Probably waffling, but that could be from fucking... Mate, that's what it wiped the dinosaurs out. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? So a meteor, innit? But deep it, deep it like this. Okay, look, I'm showing Johnny right now, especially for all your listeners, yeah? I'm showing Johnny the layers of the earth. All he done was just get to the bottom of that little bit of water there. Oh. We've got Wait, all yeah, that have you get... seen? Have you seen... Um, you see in the Amazon... There's a hundred degree boiling water river, part of the Amazon River. It Is boils it? hundred degrees. Yeah, shout out Jay Swingler because that video he done was sick. I don't even watch my man that much, but like that that video was fucking sick. What? It's just a little. What is it? Just a. a it boils at hundred degrees. It's hundred degrees. The water is hundred degrees. One part of the Amazon Amazon River is uh yeah, it boils at hundred degrees Celsius. He cooks an egg in it. It's a sick video. Oh, I'd love to watch that. To be yeah, fair. go watch that. Shout him out. That's good. Yeah. Sick video. I love to like, watch that. Like he gets in one point of the river and it's like 40 degrees. Like it's like a hot, 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 hot yeah. jacuzzi. Go to the top and literally the water's going downstream and it's bubbling where it's so hot. And apparently it's because cracks from that river go all the way say, down go, to the core. Go to the core and then just heat up. And that's, like, yeah. that's the only explanation I'd have for it to be fair. Exactly. Mental. Fucked. Imagine falling in that. You'd scald yourself. <laughs> like it's generally boiling. It's <laughs> generally like, like, yeah, actually, like a kettle. Take like your skin off, yeah. Isn't it weird that like water boils at 100 and freezes at zero? At zero. I know we give it that measurements at the beginning of yeah, whenever human time experience, was, yeah. whatever, but like still. Yeah. 
I mean, once how it gets to hundred, like you can't boil water and it be a hundred. I, I might, might be wrong, but water can't be one hundred five degrees. It's steam. It'll become steam. Can't be one hundred one degrees. It's steam, steam, isn't it? It's weird. Sick. It's weird though. <laughs> but isn't we it? made those metrics no, to I make know. it like so we can know. At this point, it changes to this, where it changes state. You know what I mean? Yeah, but why is it so level? Like, why is it one hundred and zero? We made it that way. I know, but like, why is it not like twenty six and like minus four? Because it's easier for us, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's another. Um, well, it's not myth exactly, it's, it's like a conspiracy theory, but um, guys, today we're busting myths on MythBusters reptilians. This is a lot of bollocks. Reptilians. You must have seen that shit. Some people believe that the world leaders, particularly the political and financial elite, are disguised reptilian extraterrestrial beings secretly controlling the world. Forget that. Have you not seen them videos when like, the eyes change? You must have. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. Fuck but off, in it. It's not. They're just human beings, mate. Mate, and it's all fucking CGI it's all or something. Yeah, it's like. just some sort of whatever, not camera or like, tricks, but... Oh, mate, just I think all the mythical creature <clears throat> shit is just bollocks. Like the skinwalker. What is that? Some urban legend in like Texas or somewhere, some big creature that goes, ah, screams and that, mate, it's a fox. <laughs> I've heard the videos, it's just a fox or something, bruv. Like, <laughs> you know what I don't understand with these things, yeah? The people actually just, why don't you just, see if, like even little things, like if I'm in my bedroom, yeah, and the door just closes on itself, my first thing is, oh, that's the wind. It don't even bother me. Yeah. Some people are like, oh my God, it's a ghost. Do you know what I mean? That's your first thing. You have no rational fucking thought, bruv. Like you hear a scream in the woods. First off, I think it's a girl or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I'd think. Secondly, I think an animal. A, yeah, an animal. No, I don't know about I don't think, oh, it's the fucking skinwalker. It's the urban well, legend skinwalker. Foot, the fucking guy's name Bigfoot, is. Bigfoot, barefoot. <laughs> is it barefoot. Bigfoot, Bigfoot sir. Skinwalker, you know. Uh, doesn't make no sense to me. No, I don't know just, about that. Yeah, one time I fucking heard a scream. It was like two in the morning. I was in bed, like shouting and like, like, like basically... Like a girl saying, get off of me. Leave me alone, get off of me. Yeah, so I've gone to the window. Oh, what the fuck? Like, someone's getting, you know mm. what I mean? Someone's getting thing. Because you know when it's a fox, because the fox is like, ow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow! And it's weird. Foxes, fox is quite scary, sound. Anyway, so I've gone down to Joe's bedroom. I said, yo, can you hear that? He's like, yeah. I was like, bruv, I can't. Like, we got to go out there, bruv. Someone's getting fucking up. We run out there in our boxes. No socks on, just boxes. That's it, literally to see what was going on. Oh, I might have put some shorts on or something. I can't remember. I've gone outside thinking that we're going to have to bash someone up because a girl's in trouble. Gone outside. There's the two neighbours, fucking, uh, the, the one, one, one of the, his wife, they've been at the pub, was battered, drunk, <laughs> yeah. But obviously, they must have just moved in, I think, at this point in time. This is a couple of years ago. So I didn't really know them too well. I yeah. didn't know actually who lived there. Yeah. So we're standing there now and he, she, she's at the door and he's trying to drag her in and she's literally unconscious like that. Yeah. So I was going, you're right, mate. Like, what are you doing with her? And he's like, my wife. I'm going, you're right, love. Like, do you know him? And she's just like, I'm going, are you all right? And like, he, he's going, she's fine. And I'm thinking, bruv, like, is she fine? Like, is this gonna be like what? Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It was only until the neighbor opposite them, because it goes down my road left, and it's a little bit there. Neighbor sort of opposite them said both the people's names and said, "Are, are you okay?" And I was, like, "Oh, what? They, they live here." And I said, like, "Yeah, they live there." So I was like, oh, "Okay, cool. They just pissed again." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, well, they were sloshed though, innit? Sloshed. <laughs> okay. Obviously, that no. little row or something. Just going, get off of me. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> What if I thought she was about to but we yeah. come to the rescue, do you know what I mean? In the boxes. That's good though. I Piss lie. around my boxes. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You've done the right thing. You've done the right thing. Just had to check it out. I had to, bruv. Have to, do you know what I mean? I'll give you a conspiracy theory that everyone talks about all the time. Go on. Area 51. Yeah. Yeah. I've all, I can't lie, always been interested in it. Mm. Why is it that we can't see what's going on in there? Uh, war weapons. Do you reckon it's just that? That's a, You know what? I'm very boring, and I? I'm thinking the most realistic answer <laughs> No, to but genuinely. I generally do. No, but I get it. I never think, oh. I get it, but I can't bother to, to stress about something that ain't that's irrelevant. Something, something else in there. No. That might, no, look, look, look. It's too bait for there to be something else there, bruv. Like, yeah, it's so it well known. 
If yeah. they really keep it down there, why would they keep it there? It's the most baitest place ever. But why? Why They'd keep it in fucking the Pentagon or something? Yeah, it would be somewhere deeper, innit? Like Black Ops 1 underneath, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Shit where no one even knows. No one even it knows it's there, innit? You're actually right. Do you reckon it's just war weapons? I reckon it's just war weapons. No, you're right in a sense where people know what it is. No, no, you're right. I'm thinking in my head, cool. They got something that would ruin the shape of reality as, as we so. know. Do you know what I mean? If, but if that was the case, so many people know where it is. If people want to make a collective effort to just, I don't know, get in there, mm. might just happen. You know they I mean? shoot you though when you're near. Yeah, yeah, I know. But say for example, China wanted to fucking get in there. Too. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's They're true, 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 true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get in there. Yeah, 100 You know what I mean? Yeah, not no, just, I'm not talking just civilians because we got you know, fly a little drone in there, fly around, even that. Mm. But I see, do you, do you watch the videos where people go up to the gate and go past it and there's literally a sniper just just there and no. then soldiers roll up in that? No. Yeah, it's mad. If you go past, so there's a there's a little gate that says you can't go past this point. Yeah. Once you go past it, patrol car comes straight away. There's people in the hills looking mad. at you. Yeah, they obviously, I reckon it's something to do with weapons or something. It's got to be, it's not aliens. Can't be. Nah, but I, but I do you know what? There is, it made me think in my head that there could be something there that like helps uncover like religion or shit like that. Do you know what I mean? Shit that might reshape everything. Yeah, I know what you do mean. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And that, that to me, that would, that would fuck up reality for everyone. You know that? Like, say, for example, I'm, I'm just saying- Only religious is, people. Bear in mind, this is conspiracy. This is just conspiracy. But say, for example, they found like a, there's like a whole testament of some sort of thing where they know it's like a true, this is definitely just like mm. the true book of whatever. Yeah. And if everyone found this, hell would break loose because they know that this no, is- No, but they were just, shit. people would, people, like, people were very stubborn. Even this, if it was a fact, people would, would not still believe go it. Against it. Yeah, they would still go against it. I reckon there's something like that in there. Religion is all to do with faith. There's no proof. Yeah, there's no proof of anything. So like, but that's what I'm saying. What if there was something like that, where this is like they have something that's like this is factual. Like, say for example, right now proved like, it all. Yeah, but there's still be people all. saying no, it's not true. Yeah, you're not saying it's man-made. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. No, of course, of course they will. Yeah, you'd have some people. If you'd that have, was no, everyone. If it was me, everyone. I'd, 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 I'd look towards it and be like, well, I want to know what's in. I do you know what I generally do? I swear to God, do you know what I generally do. I know exactly what I'm like. I see it on Twitter or TikTok saying, oh, is it mad? <laughs> oh, <can> I? <laughs> on to the next one. You, you Mum's just... life. I'll just might bring it up if I see one of my friends. I'll say, oh, did you see about that? Yeah, mad, didn't it? Yeah. What if it was something that genuinely proved it though? Proved like, what? I don't know. What happens after death or something like oh, that? Oh, then I'd be interested. You'd be interested. I thought you meant if That's what a, I mean though. If you had proved religion weren't real. No, no, no. I don't believe it is anyway. I would mean like, I would mean like, because remember, all of that is reliant on faith as well. But I'm saying like, what if it was something that proved like, yeah, 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 this, that know. and the third, it, it proved yeah, it. I want to know. That, something like that would set the world on fire. You know that? Yeah. Completely. Yeah, they've definitely got secrets that we aren't allowed Facts. access to. hundred percent. But they are like, there's people are so powerful, especially America. America is so powerful. I mean, our government's a bit of a wash joke, but like America is very, very powerful. Imagine. That's, that's, that, that's just a conspiracy theory, by the way. Don't want anyone to think I'm just out here just shitting on religion. No, not even. It didn't come across it that Yeah, time. good. Okay, it's quite an interesting one because I actually, in some ways, kind of agree with it. <clears throat> mind control through television. This theory proposes that subliminal messages and television programming are used by governments or power groups to control people's minds and manipulate their actions and beliefs. That is 100% true. Yeah, that's true. I, I'd, I'd say that's true. Have you fucking look at the news, bro. You look at every day. They only yeah. show you what they want to show you. Mm. Look well, at COVID. Let me give you a next. That's, that's a prime example. That's a prime example. And that, let's just tiptoe around that one as well. Because yes, people died from COVID and blah, blah, blah. Bro, blah. I have a family what? member that died yeah, from COVID. Fact, I'm still going to talk know about that. It. People, we all know that died from COVID. Part yeah? of life, people die. But like, what I'm saying is in the way that they made us isolate yeah. this, that, and, and shut the world down, that, listen. That's nuts. That was nuts. And that was only just, that was, that met, all those messages and those instructions were, were, were displayed to you through media. 100%. Like, see, that was see it. what's going on now in fucking Gaza and all that, yeah? Mm. If they wanted to, they could make a video of everything looking calm and post it to the news. Yeah. They really could. Yeah. We're not there. Yeah. We can't actually see what's going on. Yeah. Unless people that, that actually go there and shit, but like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. that's why I think social media has broken that boundary of 
people just being brainwashed because I know my mum and dad, especially my dad, the older generation, like they do believe everything they see on the news. It and, is, yeah. You know what I mean? They, 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 that is their one source of info. Like mm. when I say to my dad sometimes, dad, it ain't true. Like, look, look, boom, show him a video of like, what's actually going on there or something. Like, where was it? There was a protest in COVID times, yeah? Um, thousands of people come out to London. Um, and obviously all my Snapchat stories and that, people were there. It was like a party, do you know what I mean? This was in the prime lockdown, whatever. My, uh, uh, fucking, I'm then showing my dad all the videos. Like, look, what's going on in central London right now? And he's like, there's nothing going on in central London. Like, they're not televising it on the news. I was like, well, they are, look, this is this. There. But they're not televising it because they don't want people, they don't want to, people to see that the catch big on and be like, yeah. oh, people can do this, yeah. mom, mom, mom. So yeah, they do, they do control. There you go, that's a they, they, brainwash tactic. Us it's, isolating was a brainwash tactic in my head. 100%. Like. It, it was just, I, reckon they was was see, I reckon they were seeing how much, how much they could get away, get away with us. That yeah. was a big one though. Yeah. I'll be honest. That whole thing of us isolating, being portrayed through, that all got sent to us through the media, yeah? Let's look at the fact that when, let me tell you, in fact, do you remember when COVID started coming about? I'll give you a, I'll give you a, something mad right now that just came off the top of my head. And I remember showing my friends this the other day. Yeah, I was in Dominican Republic. There was, there was a, there was a fucking, a new, when I first saw it, it was on like, one of them news, flip, GMTV or the that, whatever not. There was, yeah, videos of people in hospital, yeah, having, when I say it, it looked like a zombie apocalypse. They were going like that on the, on the hospital beds and blah, blah, saying, Wait, yeah. in China? Yeah, saying this disease is spreading and this is what it causes and blah, 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 and this and that. And it was like extreme, brother. Like when I say that, yeah. people were like, guy like that on there, but it looked like if you get COVID, you're going to turn into a and zombie. more time, unless it's the worst case, it's just a bad cold. You're just probably bad cold. Which is which was majority the more common of side people, of it. Majority, majority of, people. of people, not to yeah. say people didn't really feel really ill, whatever. Yeah, of not. And then dying, it, obviously know. those lockdown, those during lockdown, I remember one thing I remember every day was going on this website that this that someone created, whatever not, and you could see the numbers every day, the the, the number of deaths from COVID or the number of mm. uh, people that caught it, whatever not, go up and down, left, right, blah blah blah. And you can see it country by country. Guess what? They're still the same now. <laughs> the numbers are still the same now. Actually, so when we look, yeah. Swear to God. Swear to God. Like the numbers are ex like around the exact same people catching COVID when we were locked down than it is now. So that's just an automated thing you reckon? Yeah, yeah, no. The, the num the, there's a, I can't remember who it was. First of all, it was, it was the first site that came out. It was a university student that created a, a site that was automatically updated every single day. Yeah. And every day I used to go on it and check. And our numbers, when our numbers used to go down, I used to have like a little bit of hope to say like, oh, they can open it's up soon, blah, blah. Fucked. It was like, you'd be like 90K a day, this, that, 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 and the third. Then a few months later, it was like 2,000. And it was like, it was going up, bro. It was going up and down. And when the lockdown was happening, it was going down, down, cool, whatever not. Now we're open again. The numbers are the same as when we were locked down. Yeah, but it's because they realize it's not that deep and everyone's that's vaccinated. What, that's what I'm saying, but it wasn't, it wasn't beforehand. It's because the vaccine though. But do you reckon the vaccine saved people from getting COVID? Because if the numbers no, are yeah, the same, course, the numbers are the same. Like for example, my mom had COVID the other day. She tested positive. Yeah. Yeah. Me, my brother and my dad live in the house for her. We were still all, she wasn't self-isolating or nothing like that. She was openly cooking us cooking food. Cooking food, whatever or not. Whatever or not. We've all tested. All of us are negative. Everyone's negative. That was about three weeks ago. Yeah. See my sister I mean? had COVID. Mom's had COVID. I've never caught it, whatever or not. Exactly. Like... But on that note, we're going to end the episode there because we're waffling and I'm going to end it for the first time. Follow us on Instagram. Was it good enough podcast underscore underscore? It comes up. Because we're going to we're gonna be using you guys for a little stories, bit more topics, yeah, some, yeah, some yeah, stories. Yeah. And uh, yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, give us a comment and we'll see you next week. Sweet.